Hi everyone, I'm Eric, and today we're going to be looking at episode 8 of If the Emperor Had Text-to-Speech by a man whose name I can never pronounce, but I'm going to make a shot at because... Fuck it all. Okay, Baruva Alphabusa. That's probably completely wrong. This is going to be about the Tyranids, and I know enough about them to realize they are fucking terrifying! And I by that, I mean I have literally seen one picture of them. Nope. 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 I would hate to run into that in a dark alley, or a bright alley, or in a field full of flowers and honeysuckle. I don't even know what honeysuckle is, but it sounds so freaking cute, and it wouldn't matter because those things are freaking terrifying, man. So let's just jump right into finding out how the Emperor's going to react to this giant bombshell of bullshit. Also, because he has no idea, and I'm just looking forward to that in general, but uh, this will be interesting. Let's get started. Again, there is a link to the original down below. Make sure to hit that up, because this is a really damn good series, and supporting... Guy whose name I cannot say, Baruva Alpha Busan. Did I get it right that time? Probably not. Just, just support the guy. He's awesome. Let's get started. Hmm. So, it begins. Who? I suppose it's time to go do something completely inexplicable. Something. Sp Again. Oh, he wasn't wearing a helmet. Was that the Emperor? No, they all kind of. Died. Oh, wow! That is a really cool image. Oh, back to the Inquisition. Well, well, well. You're going to say well another five Hello, times. Hello, humble friend. Ecclesia Desis. I haven't seen you since a little argument on Salem Brockdor. But who is it? You and no one treating that preacher like you did. Is that <laughs> oh, a God. God. Out of here? I have every right to Desis. I'm a <laughs> <little> <laughs> the Inquisitor. Ceiling. If I suspect someone of heresy, I will take them away and torture them until they give me an answer. That's not a chair, little oh Billy! Oh god. That's a toilet, I think. <laughs> They're still doing the shit thing. I need to poo. He saved his entire world. With this people, he let it reconquer his planet for the Emperor, defying the heathens who control it. <sighs> That young boy was nothing but a false prophet. He lusted for power. That's just not right. There's so much explains everything going wrong with this. Got some steak? We had lunch steak last Tuesday, you old shit! I'm not sure which is worse. Them being in charge. Is there being such an ass? Not right. <laughs> They're really having two different conversations. Really? After you had your fit about us executed, was the taint of chaos not discovered amongst his followers? We could have known if he was tainted or not before our final judgment was called for, but because of you, we lost that chance! Oh, but you can never be too careful about the ever-present threat of chaos. Literally, every word I hear from him is like, I'm full of bullshit, and I'm full of bullshit. How obvious that to everyone else? Here as the Inquisition's own representative. My nostrils itch something fierce. Where's old Nutfinger? Turn our heads, head, you butt. What's today? What are you jabbering on about now? Why have you come here, Karamazov? Oh, that's Karamazov. And almost huh. every other Inquisitor in the galaxy have received a message from Terra. And you're all disbanded. That the Inquisition I just realized his chair has a gun. This Ministorum are to be disbanded. Yes, I know about this message. No one here has sent it. Well, there is no doubt. It definitely came from Holy Terror itself. A full just go talk to your boss. cannot possibly be this precise. However, it's clear that the Emperor of Mankind so? himself. Oh, I want to see his real. I just want to see his reaction specifically. That he's just full of bullshit. The guy he's by a heretic hiding somewhere here on this very planet. Yep. Being such a deluded fool, you do have a point. <laughs> Good. See if I can make that happen, or is it at least allowing enough blood to flow through your skull for you to bad. understand a situation? Requires mending. Oh my god. 
So what is your purpose here exactly, Theodore? What are you intended to? I was Theodore for a second. Hi, I remember the finger I had before I replaced it with an auto quill. Oh, I just made myself sad. Where did that my toaster my So, yeah, oh, all along, God. Tyran is from another galaxy and have come here for the sole purpose of eating everything that is organic in order to grow stronger and fiercer. They are honestly pretty damn scary. I'm lucky to have been trained not to feel fear or anxiety over such things as a seemingly imminent doom. And you say there have been an entire three major wars against these creatures with loads of Imperial forces involved. And they all died, probably. Yes, indeed. The first, second, and third Tyrannic War. As I said, the most notable must have been the first Tyrannic War, when they supposedly first made their entrance into our galaxy. They completely stripped the planet Tyran of all life, thereby getting the name of Tyranids. Oh. And you said during this war they destroyed the Ultramarines, devoured their entire first company, and crippled the leader of the Ultramarines, Papa Smurf, when they first arrived. How in the name of Lee Man Ross's overinflated ego did that happen? Well, yes. All got better. the Ultramarines in the galaxy were needed to beat off the assault of a crowd, but the two main events that are most important would be the confrontation between Marius Kalgar... Papa Smurf? <laughs> yeah. I'm never going to call him Papa anything Smurf else now. And the event that ended the battle in decisive Imperial victory. What the fuck is a Smurf anyway? <laughs> I can I... already tell this is going to be a roller coaster ride of disappointment. <laughs> tell me what happened. Well, my... Papa Smurf and the Swarm Lord fought one another in an epic battle with two independent characters. The battle was fierce, but in the end, the tyranny. It just occurred to me that the Smurf reference is actually indicating that he's meaning actual Smurfs. I thought it was just like some kind of dumb thing he threw out there because it was like, you know, just a thing, the guy who wrote it in. But now they're actually making a point to say that he doesn't understand, which would imply that the Smurfs are actually an in-game, or an in-universe thing, at least in this series. And It's amusing to me because that means there is a very good chance in this series alone, in text of speech, the Emperor is a geek. Because a geek would know that reference. And since nothing good apparently exists in this universe, nobody else gets it. I'm looking forward to him making other references if that's the case. Just let that happen. It proved too strong for him, resulting in him being gravely wounded. I am invincible. Oh! It's just a flesh wound, right? The Ultramarines always triumph. Have Why does it have swords? Foul scene of scum. <laughs> it literally is a flesh wound. They're even floating it! worth pointing out is that something similar to this apparently happened later in the year 976 when the Ultramarines fought another high fleet called Perseus. However, the history of the galaxy is a major cluster focus of this anyway, so I don't know if that can still be considered true or not. Anyway, back because to the they keep retroactively changing. The mere thought of losing yeah, yeah. the sacred spiritual legion of their already grievous losses. The oligarch of our first company has sacrificed themselves to evacuate him. So this guy could not even fight an overgrown fucking book Gargamel and ended up force feeding his bodyguards to it. Yep. Wow. Continue with the story. It metaphor, makes my bones rattle with condensed and overpowering amusement and joy. <laughs> He well, really hates long story them. short, after being fixed up a bit, Marnie Papa Smurf went to command the Orbital Battle over McGrath, but was led into a trap at the Rune World of Sersky. Things were looking very grim for them. Led into a trap by a bunch of space locusts. This is dumber than those oiled up fucking strippers I call companions. <laughs> the Emperor class battleship, hey, he said Astra, it. valiantly charged into the heart of High Fleet Beowulf and detonated its warp drives, causing a cataclysmic vortex that sucked both it and the entire Tyranid fleet into oblivion. Where they can Victory probably survive in the war. I am sorry. I am just absolutely living at the moment. Remind me again. Technology is pretty backwards at the moment, correct? Um, it has declined somewhat in your absence, yes. yes. And those Emperor class battleships are pretty much irreplaceable at this point because of the sheer resources and manpower needed to make them, correct? More or less, yes. So this asshole Papa Smurf, instead of just calling back his fleet to a more advantageous position yep. in, you know, fucking space, let one of those warships be lost forever in the war for some depraved minion of chaos to find and diddle around with. This is getting me harder than Terminator armor! I probably should mention time losses. I want you to change my orders. Ooh. Tell the Ultramarines to get back, Magnus, without the Geller fields turned on. <laughs> Let's see how they enjoy being fucked by demons, like those poor assholes in the battleships. Oh my. Anyway. <laughs> 
avoiding the subject of the Alpha Marines further. These tyrannids actually sound pretty fucking fascinating. How easy my job would be if every human was just part of me and my giant intelligence, and everything we did was in perfect harmony. Yeah, Actually, kind of remind me about that idea when I get off of this fucking throne. I'll make sure to do that, my lord. The human hive mind would surely be something fantastic to be part of. You're just saying that because you're thoroughly trained to be my bodyguard, and not ever think, nor feel, or have any other purpose in life. That's right, my lord! Fucking automaton. So anyway, and these still two smarter than literally everyone the else. Eastern fringe of the galaxy and large bug flesh ships and chomp the fuck out of everything they see. Yep. Yes. Correct, my lord. And every encounter recorded with them describes them as insect-like creatures with biological weaponry, yep. and that they are countless in number. Right. Yes, that is right, my lord. They come in endless streams, too numerous to count, with beasts both minuscule and massive, all killing in their own unique, painful ways. Has anyone ever considered fucking bug spray? I'm. Sorry, my lord. If that actually works. Bug spray? They lost bug spray. What is that? Sorry, I forgot. They stopped manufacturing those after the dark age of technology. Well, my lord, if it's a biochemical weapon you're referring to, I can say that it is not of much use. Regenerative power is something that the species seem to have picked up on, and many of them also have extremely advanced immune systems, so not much will work. In addition, the race is very advanced. sending ABBA CDs to them? Start playing it and let them suffer that. That is quite a fucking pickle. Is there anything that works against them? Bullets? If it's not regular steel on bullets, there's actually ah. a special mutagenic acid developed by the Death Watch that ruins the target's organs from inside and out. It is used in Hellfire rounds. It's gonna be bug spray, isn't it? It's anything that's made of the flesh. But since Tyranids not even have any kind of real armor, it seems to work best against It's definitely gonna be bug spray. Then why have any of you fucking idiots had the idea of filling a massive space-sized spray can with a constant stream of oxygen, promethium, and this Hellfire compound, and sprayed the fuck out of the Tyranids' organic fleet while still in space? That's a great idea, my Emperor. You are truly the most intelligent being in the galaxy. Sorry. That gets very Sometimes I wish I hadn't made you custodies to be mindless automatons without feelings or emotions. It gets lonely here sometimes. <laughs> oh my, Emperor. He has emotions. You are truly the most funny being in the galaxy as well. Fucking automaton. <laughs> well, my lord, at least we aren't as bad as those Necrons. So we're talking about those sleepy solist and skeletons now. Do tell me what the fuck they have been up to. You know of them? Oh, uh, oh he does. Well, at least they aren't as bad as the Tyranids. I, um, think... Uh, there's a little question at the end that makes it the best. Oh god, I... I was expecting the entire thing about the Tyranids, like, BUG SPRAY! Seriously, if it comes out that the Hellfire mix is actually just bug spray or DDT, I am going to laugh my ass off, and I won't even be complaining. If I keep doing it later, I'm going to work, and they'll be like, oh, wow, he's being weird again. Normal Tuesday. It would be worth it. Also, I need to go pick up some of these figures now, damn it. Uh, I just, I'm looking forward to seeing what he says about the Necrons. One, because I kind of find them interesting. And two, I don't know nearly enough about them. So just the info dump on top of just the fact that he's going to lose his shit over whatever's going on. Either what he doesn't or what they don't know. Oh my god. And yes, the fact that Smurfs are a thing in there and not just a random shout out. I love that. I, I just love that. He even called out the Gargamel. And now I just, I want to see who is going to be the Azrael, the freaking cat of it. I Come on, they've made the metaphor twice over. Now it will happen. Maybe. I hope. 50-50. All the same, though. There is a link to the original down below. Make sure to hit up, because this is really good. And Alpha Brava Vusa. Uh, or was it Bruva Alpha Vusa? Bruva Alpha Vusa. <sighs> Fucked up the name again. What a surprise. He's awesome. Make sure to subscribe and leave a like on his stuff, because he is awesome. Have I mentioned he's awesome? Do it. Do it. Do it. <laughs> God, I'm a dork. And all the same, thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And for everyone who's supporting me on Patreon, thank you so very much. It does make it so much easier to get these videos out, along with a bunch of other new original series that I'm starting to work on. So again, to all the Patreons who have helped supporting this, thank you. And if you're interested in joining, there is a link on the screen. For everyone else, thanks for watching again. See you guys in the next one.